This is called Star Spangled Death. He lays in a box. I wonder if he's counting the crosses on the wall. Six years have gone by and my father's death is still freshly etched in my head. I've never quite gotten over it. Instead, it's plunged me into desperation and a force that I cannot free myself from. A death spiral of faded memories and criticizing remarks. I see my reflection dumping into a green pool and running into a red barn. Life and laughter had always exploded around this new town. My life on the other side of the hedgerow is long gone, like the gas mask. I wonder what had happened. That's my life now. Lost and developed by my immortality. Shriveled and bloated like a bug, a bug caught in the catcher. Not knowing what's yet to come, but wishing I was still swimming with them all. I believe this is what they call an existential crisis. Its creeping shadow haunts me. At night, I look up at the stars and imagine them shining as I lay six feet in the ground. Above, I guess the entire world is going on without me. Just look at everyone doing so many great things without me, but I cannot be bothered. I'm dead. Who will remember me for that? That is where my despair comes from. The abandonment, constantly being left out, left out of not knowing the joke, left out of the party, left with the song still inside me. At the kitchen table, I'm a hermit, doing crosswords and smoking cigarettes, trying to figure out how I will go on. I'm in a constant state of uncertainty, one of my own making that I didn't decide. It shows me. Where is my future? What happened to my time? Why am I so afraid that the Star Spangled Banner will be left unsung within me?